Happy New Year. It's time to check out the new Apple M1 Max. I've got some test units here from work that I would like to try out. So here is the first one, MacBook Air with M1. You can hear the chime as she started up. Voila. To use English as the main language, press the return key. And I'm going to pick our country. It's figured out we're in Canada. Accessibility, not now. Pick a wireless network and type in the password. I must say that keyboard feels better than the keyboard on my older MacBook Pro. Uh, 2018 version with the that terrible keyboard that they come with. So far, it's kind of the standard Mac experience. The keyboard looks about the same. The function keys look a little different. What's in the box? Well, you have your usual flimsy screen covering. The Apple uh, logo will be in here, plus a little piece of paper that says look online. And then we have the power adapter and it's little itty bitty USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 cable. That's it. There's nothing else in the box at all. And this is glued in, so you're not getting anything out of here. <laughs> so if we were to look inside this package, designed by Apple in California. What it really means is designed by Johnny Ive. And that's why it only has two ports, which is frankly ridiculous. Okay, we have a MacBook Air user manual with a couple of graphics showing you the main features and the measly two ports plus headphone jack. Thunderbolt slash USB 4. Mm, there's USB 4, I didn't even know. And then we have safety and handling. And oh, look, the Apple logos. They are um, kind of a slate gray, like the color we picked for the Mac. That's fascinating. So that's all that comes in this little box. You got your itsy bitsy power adapter. This one is 30 watts. <laughs> the gable. That's it. Opening the box is rather anticlimactic. About this Mac. MacBook Air M1 2020 chip, Apple M1, memory 8 gigabytes, serial number. Uh, storage, we've got 500 gig flash storage. So I imagine that'll be fairly quick. Been looking forward to this for a long time. Unfortunately, didn't get this before Christmas. So here we are downloading the Big Sur.1 update uh, using the Wi-Fi. Well, there's lots of interesting things to report here with Apple Silicon. So it looks like uh, Microsoft Office, uh, Office 365 and 2019 supports it. You don't need a separate installer. And you don't need Rosetta 2 unless you're using a couple of uh, plugins or a certain function in Excel. As of uh, release 16.44, uh, there's native support for Apple Silicon. So that's good news. The uh, Adobe stuff, there was no native support, so I've tried, I'm trying the betas to see if there's native support there. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, Autodesk Maya seems to be installed fine. I haven't launched it yet. Uh, the first time you try to install something that needs Intel, uh, it's going to install Rosetta, or it's called Rosetta 2, but they just call it Rosetta. And uh, if you're using uh, Adobe in an institution, like a college or university, the shared device license uh, installer doesn't work. 
So here we are. You are on an Apple Silicon device. While we develop a new version of this app, you can use the Intel version. Well, that's fine. So the Intel version will work, but I opted instead to try uh, the beta version. So here's Photoshop beta. <laughs> you know, and uh, you go into the menus. Oh, there. Now I can get into interface. And I like to make this a little darker, for example. So that's good. Um, so early going yet in my testing. So here's the, this is the beta version of uh, Photoshop. And uh, that's good. I do notice that Final Cut did say it has native support for Apple Silicon in version 10. Dot, uh, whatever it was there, 10.5.1. So that's good to know. I will be testing that. I will also be testing um, the Adobe product uh, Premiere Pro uh, beta. And of course, being a beta, you can't really rely on anything there. And you don't really want to comment on somebody's beta software because it really isn't going to represent what the user experience may be like. Um, but, you know, it's nice to see that they've already got uh, Apple Silicon support. And boy, is this thing ever fast. It is just incredible how fast. It There's no lag. This is a MacBook Air, but it's the new unified RAM. So it's um, memory is uh, much, much closer to the actual processor and much, much faster. So it is much more efficient use of memory. So an 8 gig machine is kind of like the equivalent of a 16 gig uh, on Intel, I think. Um, you know, I would still recommend 16 gig because I'm conservative that way. But so far, 8 gig hasn't really been an impediment at all uh, to any of the things I've, I've thrown at this machine. Well, interesting stuff happening. So I ran into a problem with the Mac where I couldn't sign in with my Apple ID. Spent about an hour on the phone with Apple. Finally, we figured out if you go into uh, System Preferences, Apple ID, and sign in that way, then the two-factor authentication thing works, and then you can sign into the App Store. Uh, and then I had to shut down the machine because I want to erase it again. But Disk Utility is failing to erase the drives because it knows uh, you know, you're not allowed to do that because if you do, you're, you're bricking your machine basically. And then you're gonna need a second machine and one of these, uh, you know, the, the power cable that comes with a Mac between the two machines. And then you have to run Apple Configurator 2 in Catalina or later. Uh, get your Mac into DFU mode by holding down the left hand control and option, the right hand shift key, and the power button all at the same time for 10 seconds. Let go of all the keys except power. Wait for it to show up in the uh, configurator, configurator 2, and then uh, you know you can right click on it and go, yeah, set this thing back up again, erase it, put it all back to rights. So hopefully you have a backup before you do any of that. <laughs> so, so yeah, forget whatever you learned about startup keys too. Command R doesn't work. Uh, the only startup key on this one is you hold the power button down longer and then it'll give you some startup options in this special sort of recovery mode. And uh, you can get into safe mode that way. Uh, so it is quite a different piece of hardware. So this is day two in my testing of the Apple M1 MacBook Air. And uh, again, I'm very, very impressed with the speed of this thing. And it's just completely silent. There's no fan, there's no noise. It's just wonderful to have a computer that doesn't make noise, but actually still goes fast. The battery life is incredible. You know, I went half the day uh, without having the thing plugged in, and it, and it was fine. But uh, all in all, uh, software compatibility is very, very good. 
Uh, Rosetta 2 allows you to run all the Intel stuff, uh, you know, almost uh, faster than it would run on an Intel in many cases. Uh, I wouldn't even say almost. It is faster. Uh, just amazing, amazing performance for such an inexpensive and small little laptop. My only complaint, again, is, you know, the lack of ports uh, and expansion options for this thing. But, uh, you know, once you get over that, you get your... 11 in 1 adapter or whatever it is you need. Uh, it's just lightning fast and silent. Uh, can't tell you what a relief it is to have a silent computer, but you can tell the audio quality is, is much better than normal for uh, typical recording here on YouTube. Uh, mostly because these, these things don't make noise, which is again, really, really nice. You know, they're not for everyone in terms of compatibility. There are going to be issues, but uh, so far I'm, I'm very impressed. And again, I think it's one of those once in a generation uh, jumps. Apple's got the jump on everyone in the PC business right now. Their machines are just killing. Machines that are like desktop machines that have really high-end video cards, <laughs> you know. And uh, I can't wait to see what's next. You know, when we get into the 16-inch uh, the model and they have an Apple M2 or something or whatever they call the next uh, iteration of this processor, it's going to be amazing. That's all I have to say today. Thank you for watching. Fade out.